What's Bacon fam, it's your boy Shankamuffin here, and welcome to my in-depth duo bandos guide. I'd like to address what I'll be talking about during this video. Here is a table of contents for what is provided. I will also provide a timestamp so that you can skip to that certain part of the video if you wish to skip some sections. So I'll leave this up for a couple of seconds and you can click or you can just wait. For a duo setup at Bandos, there are two roles. One person acts as the tank and the other acts as the attacker. The tank is to absorb as much damage as he can from Bandos. This means tanking all of Bandos' hits without actually being damaged. For the attacker role, your objective is to attack Bandos as often and quickly and as powerful as possible to make sure he drops as soon as possible. The longer the fight goes on, the more supplies you and your partner will use, so killing it as quickly as you can is a must. In order for you and your partner to kill Bandos, all members must have 70 strength in order to enter the Bandos stronghold. This is the minimum level requirement to kill Bandos. Now let's begin with the levels needed for the tank. I'd recommend 85 plus defense, 75 plus attack, and 75 plus strength. The higher the defense, the greater you are at surviving because defense is most beneficial for a tank. Having 70 prayer is most beneficial because you have access to piety. Piety will make you tankier, which will let you survive even longer there. Although this isn't required for the tank, and if the tank doesn't have this requirement done, then maybe the attacker can run this. But having 84 magic would be most beneficial, as well as completion of Lunar Diplomacy. The reason being is, you have access to two very important potions because you can share potions between one another, and they are the Stat Restore Pot Share and the Boost Potion Share. Basically what these do is, after let's say drinking a super combat potion and with use of this spell, you and your partner will get the same effect of the one dose that you drunk. So you're basically getting a two for the price of one. Now let's move on to the levels needed for the attacker. I'd recommend 85 plus combat stats in both attack and strength. For defense, I'd recommend at least 70 because of the use of Barrows, and you'll figure out why very soon. Also, there are some quests that need to be done before you can even access God Wars Dungeon. Death Plateau is a minimum, but to efficiently duo, Edgar's Ruse is a great quest to have completed. It makes teleporting easier, as well as saves you an inventory space or two. If this is your first time at God Wars Dungeon, bring a rope. You will need it in order to get down to gain access to the dungeon. On to our next section, which is gear setup. Let's talk about the tank for what gear they can wear. In the helm slot, either a Varak helm or helm of Nietznot. For a necklace, a fury because of its defensive abilities. In the ammo slot, an unholy blessing is required. For a cape, use either an inferno cape or fire cape, and if you don't have this, use a skill cape, and at worst, legends cape. For a plate body, go with Torg's plate body, or a Carol's leather skirt, if the mage minion is hitting too hard. For legs, go with a Varax plate skirt, Torax plate legs, or Bandos tassets. For boots, go with Primordial's dragon boots, or Bandos boots. Barrow's gloves are a must, but if you don't have these, go with a combat bracelet. For the ring, go with either a Ring of Suffering imbued, or a Berserker ring imbued. For a weapon, a Zamorak Hosta will be most beneficial, but if you don't have this, a Tentacle Whip will suffice. Finally, for the shield slot, it must either be a DFS, an Elysian Spirit Shield, or an Imbued Crystal Shield. Now for the gear setup for the attacker. For your helmet, you'll roll with the Helm of Nietznot, Necklace, an Amulet of Torture or Fury. For your cape, use a Inferno Cape, Fire Cape, Untrim Skill Cape, Trim Skill Cape, or Legends Cape. For your ammo slot, an Unholy Blessing is a must. For your weapon, use a Tentacle Whip. And for your shield, use a Dragon Defender. Your top must be a Carol's Leather Top. For your legs, go with either Bandu's Tassets or Varax Plate Skirt. Use the best offensive boots that you have, such as Primordial's Dragon Boots or Bandu's Boots. For gloves, Barrow's Gloves are a must, but if you don't have this, Combat Bracelet will suffice. Finally, for the Ring Slot, Berserker Ring that's imbued would be great to have, but if you don't have this, go with the Warrior's Ring. For this inventory setup, this is what me and Sean did for all of our Bandos trips, while using the Potion Share spell. 
let's begin. Guffins is needed due to the healing property that it has when the full set is equipped. After killing Grador, equip Guffins to heal off the minions. Next is your spec weapon. Lowering Grador's defense is a must. The lower his defense, the faster it is for your team to kill him. Dragon Warhammer is excellent to have, but having a Bandu's Godsword will do. If going with the Dragon Warhammer, it's best to have high attack due to being a tier 60 weapon as compared to the BGS which is a tier 75. For potions, I brought 3 super combat potions and 6 super restores. Since I'm on normal spellbook, I brought a rune pouch filled with high outcasts due to bandos dropping alcables fairly often. I also brought the bones to peaches tab due to saving inventory space as well as when needed turn all bones dropped into peaches for additional healing. Lastly is a teleport out. Buy 2 scrolls of redirection from the nightmare zone. Use them on a house tab to turn them into a Trollheim teleport, then revert one of the tabs back to a house teleport. Also make sure to bring sharks for the rest of your inventory. For Sean's inventory setup, he brought Guthans, a BGS, 3 super combats, 5 restores, bones to peaches, a room pouch filled with the stat restore runes, and of course the rest of his inventory were sharks. Also keep in mind, Sean was the tank in all of these kills. If you have completed Edgar's Ruse, teleport to Trollheim, climb down the agility shortcuts, continue north, and pray protect from range. Lift the boulder that is blocking your path. After passing the boulder, keep going north until you reach the dungeon entrance. Once in the dungeon, go north as far as you can until you can see goblins to get your kill count. If you have only completed Death Plateau, proceed to follow this map that I have up on the screen. Also, please remember to bring climbing boots. Now it's time to learn the hammer drop trick, but before that, if you have a dragon warhammer, you can skip this section entirely, because you can actually use your warhammer on the door to go through. So for those that don't have a dragon warhammer, you need to do this method. After killing goblins for your kill count, they should have dropped a hammer at some point. Once a hammer has been dropped, run to the bando's door, then drop one of your sharks. Go back to collect that hammer that was dropped, then pick up that hammer. Go back to the door and bang on it. After going through the door, drop a second shark that's in your inventory, and then proceed to leave the Bando Stronghold. Then pick up that shark that you originally dropped, go back through the door, drop your hammer, and pick up that second shark that you dropped. Congratulations, you now have all the food that you brought with you to Bandos. Now that we're here at the boss room, let's learn what Bandos does. He has two attack styles, melee and ranged. That's it. He walks around being aggroed by the tank and does one of those two attacks. For the tank, he will always melee and range the tank. For the attacker, he will always range. Also, the minions in the room aggro anyone, so keep an eye on your health at all times, no matter what role you are. Other than that, there's not really anything else to this boss. He's pretty simple. Now let's talk about the mechanics that the tank must use in order to be successful at Bandos. Before entering the room, have the Super Combat Potion Share spell activated so that both parties have increased stats. For your first kill on Bandos, the tank must go in first. He prays melee and piety and begins to spec out Bandos with a BGS or a Dragon Warhammer. When attacking Bandos, you attack him twice. Once the second attack ends, walk underneath Bandos and then re-attack twice. Then walk underneath him again and repeat the process until he dies. The reason as to why you do this is because you will get two attacks on Bandos, while his attack ticks will only give him one attack off on the tank, which in the end reduces the amount of damage the tank takes over time. Once Bandos is dead, equip Guthans and hit the mage minion, and pray accordingly if you are getting attacked by the minions. Then kill the melee minion and finally the ranged minion. Make sure to have Guthans equipped during this entire duration to heal back all the health that you have lost. When Bandos is about to spawn, stand on the eastern wall of the boss room so that Bandos aggros you. Now let's talk about the mechanics for the attacker. After the tank has entered the room, the attacker has spec ready, praise range, and flicks piety. 
spec the boss with either your BGS or Dragon Warhammer, then proceed to keep hitting Bandos until he's dead. Once Bandos is dead, equip Guthans and hit the Mage Minion, and pray accordingly if you are getting attacked. Then kill the Range Minion, and lastly the Melee Minion. Once again, make sure to have Guthans equipped for all the minion kills to, to get back all the health that you may have lost. Once everything is dead, the attacker moves to the northeastern corner and waits for the tank to aggro Bandos. Basically, leech off the tank because he's doing all of the hard work. Oh, dude, clip, 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 do you know how much sharks cost? Like a thousand. <gasps> oh! Yo, what? what? <laughs> Dude, al already. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I really appreciate it for watching this. And if you have any suggestions, feel free to put them down in the comment section below. Join my Discord channel, as well as, hey, add me. I don't mind. So, guys. I'm Shanga Muffin. I'm signing out. Please enjoy this outro.